G'day guys, how you going? I've spent the last oh, couple of weeks prospecting and I've come home with some concentrate. The problem I've got though, it is absolutely chock-a-block full of this stuff, black sand. And black sand can become a real problem when it comes to extracting your gold. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a very simple, quick and effective method of getting your gold out of the black sand. It's actually a commonly known method, but for those who don't know, I'm going to demonstrate a simple and effective way to remove the black sand. So one of the more popular methods of removing black sand from your concentrates is to use a magnet. I've got a magnet here, just a big old magnet. So I've put my magnet in just a sandwich bag and I'm now going to put it in the pan and you'll notice a whole lot of material has come out so that's one way you can remove your black sand but there's still a lot of black sand in this pan what's left in that pan is not magnetic and it's still very heavy material so how do we get it out or well, more to the point, how do we separate the gold simply and effectively? It's just gold all through this material, all the way through it. And it's really, really hard to separate. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you just a very simple way of separating this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake the pan backwards and forwards short sharp motions and I'm going to tap it a bit just like this now what that's doing hopefully is sending all the heavy materials or the heavier materials in this case being the gold to the bottom of the V as you would have seen in one of my previous videos I talk about the V now I'm going to do my normal twist and twirl and you can see the gold's even sitting up on the first lip there and it's all through this material. So there's a quick and easy way to do this, is I grab my finger and I just push it all up, like this. Now I know I'm not gonna get all of it on the first hit with this method. That's not my aim. My aim is to get the majority of the color that I can see, pushing it all the way to the top of the pan. You can see now, I'm starting to get a little concentrated area of colour there. Now that's all very good, but if you look, it's still just chock a block surrounded by black sand. So, here's what I'm going to do next. Now that I've got that majority of colour up there, I'm going to take the rest of this material here and I'm going to get that out of the pan. You can see a couple of tiny flecks going out there now, but the majority of the gold is in the top of the pan. Now this is where the technique really comes into its own. What I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna tap the pan and watch what happens. A slight twist and a twirl, and you'll see the majority of the gold has all been co-located. Now I'm gonna bunch it together again. But this time, we're gonna watch what happens to the gold. So if you look at the gold there now, watch what it's doing. See how it's all coming together? Now that's because displacement is doing its job. In this case, lighter material will always give way to gold. Now this black material here, being high specific gem particles, is heavy as well. 
but does not have the same specific gravity as gold. So therefore, when we agitate the pan, all materials with the same specific gravity will basically end up together. So what we do now is we just sweep the black sand away with my finger, being careful not to sweep the gold away. And down the bottom of the pan down this way now, is there's a lot more black sand but a lot less gold. And I'll just repeat that process. You see the gold's coming together again, all in one nice little neat line. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can just bang the pan like I'm doing with my hand, or you can use any implement. Some people use a coin, some people bang the bottom of the pan, or you can just use a rock like this. It has the same effect. You can use a bit of wood, like this. Regardless of what you're using, the frequency and the strength of the impact against the side of the pan is the determining factor that causes the gold and the black sand to separate. So I just keep sweeping the black sand away. I just tap it again. And you can see it's all co-locating there. And I'll continue this process until I'm satisfied that virtually what I have left is gold. Basically what's happening here is a process of elimination. Now, there's two ways you can approach this. Some people like to take the gold out of the black sand. I prefer to go the other way and that's take the black sand out of the gold. So just by continuing this method, you can see now that the black sand has significantly reduced. And there'll always be a couple of little flecks which might get swept away. There's a few flecks up here. I'll see if I can push them back up through there. So I just sweep the black sand away with my finger and continue the process. You can see how that gold's just walking together beautifully. It's just bunching right up. If I take the water out of that, you can see there's a thin film of black sand there. I can just move that with my finger. A little bit of gold there, pushing back up. Repeat the process again. At this stage, I'm gonna suck the majority of this gold up with this little squeezy bottle. Like that problem to have, a couple of bits that are too big for the bottle. And yeah, a little bit of black sand will be getting in this bottle, but we'll deal with that in a minute. So, I've gone through the process once and got the majority of the gold out in this little bottle here. However, I know there's still some colour left in the original dirt, so I'm now going to rework that and let's see what I missed. So now I'm just going to tip what I've pulled out of the pan back into this pan and you'll see There's some nice gold in there, but we've still got some black sand that we need to get out. So, we just step back into our little process. I'll start tapping away. You just see how the gold just walks together beautifully. If you look closely, you see the black sand is starting to move away. There's still a little bit of gold, but that's mostly just black sand. And we've now got a beautiful line of gold at the top of the pan. I'm going to continue tapping. And we'll have a look at this line of black sand again. Brush it away with the finger. And when you get down to this stage, it's getting pretty fiddly, but can be done. And what we're going to do now is we're going to attempt to pick up all gold, but no black sand. So this is where I do a little bit of a twist and a roll with my wrist. 
and if you have a look, you'll see most of the black sand has congregated in this section just here. Now I'm going to do backwash method. And the black sand is now walking to the bottom of the pan and the gold is staying there. If you have a look though, there's still fine particles of gold in that black sand. But essentially, what I've got left at the top of the pan is virtually all gold. Push that together with my fingers. Now this section over here now is really just gold. So I can pick him up now with a bottle. time to show you how to do that but generally it's a fairly quick process it's like everything it takes a bit of practice and if you have a look in this pan now there's a tiny tiny bit of black sand there but it's virtually all gold Thanks for watching.